This video goes over how to evaluate a fabric's color fastness to crocking based on AATCC test method 8 through 2013, color fastness to crocking. Crocking is the transfer of colorant from a colored textile, yarn, or fabric to another surface through the process of rubbing. This test method will measure color fastness to crocking with dry and wet test. For many textiles, transfer more colorant when wet since moisture is an influential factor when determining color fastness. Step 1. Cut out two specimens, each 8 by 8 cut on the bias. Bias is where you cut diagonally across the grain at a 45 degree angle. Step 2. Place one of your specimens on the crock meter in a way that the specimen will be rubbed in the bias direction when the machine is on. Mark the exposed area with pencil for later comparison. Step 3. Mount a dry crock cloth around the plastic finger of the crock meter with the use of a wire clip to keep it in place. Step 4. Lower the covered finger and start the crock meter for 10 cycles. Step 5. Slide the specimen over to an unused section and mark the new section. Step 6. Wet a crock cloth by dipping it in distilled water and squeeze out excess water and pat dry on a paper towel before mounting it like you did to the other crock cloth to finger of the crock meter. Before moving on to the rating the fabric and crock cloths, allow all to dry completely. When a fabric is wet, it appears darker and can negatively impact perceived performance if evaluated while wet. Step 7. Using the AATCC gray scale for color change, compare the specimen to an unused fabric sample and rate the change of the color. In this rating scale, the higher the number, the better the color fastness of the fabric. The highest rating 5 equivalents to a very good color fastness to crocking. Finally, Step 8. Rate both crock cloths with the chromatic transference scale Back each crock cloth with three layers of fabric. Record all your data and repeat with the other specimen.